What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're about to react to something a little different, y'all. This is Jane Elliott. This is the experiment that she did on her students back in 1968. Now, I heard about this experiment. I've never seen the video. I didn't even know that there was footage of this experiment. So I am very, very excited to check this out. It was like four years ago when I heard of this woman and heard about some of the experiments that she did and some of the things that she did throughout her professional career, getting people to understand how wrong and how unnecessary being racist or racism is so we're about to dissect this video and we're gonna obviously have the important conversations because that's what we do over here on this channel this is called a different perspective I was gonna put this on the main channel but I figured this is a, a great conversation to have on the different perspective channel because we're going to see perspectives at first hand and then we're going to also see how those perspectives can be changed and shifted and then maybe we can have a conversation right here on ways that we can change and shift our perspective over such a topic so we're gonna get into this video Y'all boys and girls ready I'm ready turn off this light now nah, keep it on let's go this is a special week does anybody know what it is National Brotherhood, Brotherhood. National Brotherhood week what's brotherhood be kind to your brothers. Be, be kind okay, to be your kind brothers. to your brothers. Like you would like to be treated. Treat everyone the way you would like to be treated. Treat everyone the way you would like to be treated. But my assumption is there's going to be a um exception for that. Treat everyone as though he was your brother. And is there anyone in this United States that we do not treat as our brothers? Yes. Who? Yes. The, black yes. people. the black people. Who else? Mm. In Absolutely, the Indians. And when you see, when many people see a black person or a yellow person or a red person, what do they think? Uh, oh, look at that. Dumb people. Look at the dumb people. What else do they think? Yo, is that her? This this lady right here looks like that that young girl. It looks like that could be her. Look at that. Dumb people. Look at the dumb people. What else do they think? think that's her. What kinds of things do they say about black people? Oh, call them Negroes. In the city, many places in the United States. Now, let's pause it real quick and talk about this for a second because where are these kids picking this up from? Is This is something that they have been taught. They have been taught to dislike other ethnicities, other cultures, partially because of the color of their skin. They're taught to believe that they are dumb if they don't look like them. Um, obviously, we know now that that's not the case. It's not true whatsoever. But back then, there might have been some truth to that because they kept the African Americans, they kept the Negroes from learning. It was once illegal for Negroes to learn how to read. So it, it, they kind of purposely made them be dumber. This has me thinking about a couple of weeks ago when I posted something to my Instagram about how um, people are being taught to be racist and then there was a bunch of people going back and forth in the comment one guy was saying no this is incorrect I'm not teaching my kids this I don't know anyone that are teaching my kids this this is not true I'm like no it's not true for you um, it, it, and it's kind of funny to me because it, it, it always baffles me when people get upset or feel like they're being categorized for something that has nothing to do with them they're putting themselves in the category when the conversation is not about them it's about the ones who are perpetrators of such acts like like families and homes that, that are teaching their kids to dislike someone because of the color of their skin how are black people treated how are indians treated how are people who are of a different color than we are like treated they, like they're part of this place. world they don't get anything in this world like, why is that because they're different color you think See? you know how it would simply feel be simply because they are a different color you think you know how it would feel yeah. to be judged by the color of your skin? Yeah. I don't. Do you think you do? No, I don't think you'd know how that felt unless you had been through it, would you? <laughs> it might be interesting to judge people today by the color of their eyes. This is what I've been waiting for. So, 
Um, let me give you a little context of what I believe is about to happen um, based on what I heard four years ago. What she's going to do is separate these kids in the classroom based upon the color of their eyes. She's going to separate the brown-eyed kids from the blue-eyed kids. And I think she's going to make the brown-eyed kids feel that they are more superior than the blue-eyed kids. I think it's going to be like the opposite effect of, of white and black. I think. I could be wrong. I'm excited for this, though. Would you like to try this? Yeah! It sounds like fun, doesn't it? Since sure. I'm a teacher and I have blue eyes, I think maybe the blue-eyed people should be on top the first day. Oh, they're going to switch it. I mean, the blue-eyed people are the better people in this room. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, they are. Uh-oh. Blue-eyed people are smarter than brown-eyed people. <laughs> Yeah. One day you came to school and you told us that he kicked you. He did. Do you think he a blue-eyed father would kick his son? Yeah. My dad is blue-eyed. He's never kicked me. Greg's dad is blue-eyed. He's never kicked him. Greg's dad is blue-eyed. He's never kicked him. You see what she's doing, though? It's very, very smart. Um, obviously, it doesn't take a whole lot to, to fool some kids. But it's, oh my, my, it's, woo, this is crazy. Like, she said, your father is brown-eyed, and he kicked you. You told me he kicked you. Do you think he would have kicked you if he had blue eyes? And then she's going on and saying, hey, my blue-eyed father never kicked me. His blue-eyed father never kicked him. So it's, she's trying to make the brown-eyed people seem like they're bad people. She's good. She is good. Kicked him. Is a, this is a fact. Blue-eyed people are better than brown-eyed people. Are you brown-eyed or blue-eyed? Blue. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> are you sure that you're right? Why? What makes you so sure that you're right? I don't know. The blue-eyed people get five extra minutes of recess. While the brown eyed people have to stay in. The brown eyed people do not get to use the drinking fountain. You'll have to use the paper cups. You brown eyed people are not to play with the blue eyed people on the playground because you are not as good as blue eyed people. Well, the brown eyed people in this room today are going to wear collars so that we can tell from a distance what color your eyes are. This is amazing. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in the classroom and I I can I can feel these kids energy. Already they're understanding just how uncomfortable and wrong it is to judge people or to dislike one another by the simple color of their eyes. Same thing with the skin. See how uncomfortable it is making them, especially when you make them do it amongst one another? Whew. Ooh, this is good. This is great. On page 127. 127. Is everyone ready? Everyone but Laurie. Ready, Laurie? Brown eyed. She's a brown eyed. You'll begin to notice today that we spend a She is good. She is too good. They're waiting on one student that's kind of slacking behind. And she said, well, she is a brown eyed. Mm. Great deal of time. With Jane Elliott, y'all. Jane Elliott. Know the name. The yardstick's gone. Well, okay. I don't see the yardstick. Do you? Tell me what's there. Hey, Mrs. Egg, you better keep that on your desk so if the um, brown people, brown eyed people get out of hand. Oh, you think if the brown eyed people get out of hand, that would be the thing to use? Who goes first to lunch? Blue the blue eyed people. No brown eyed people go back for seconds. Blue eyed people may go back for seconds. Brown eyed people do not. not. Brown eyed. Don't you know? Oh, they're not smart. Is that the only reason? It might take too much. Okay, quiet. 
What happened at recess? Were two of you boys fighting? Yeah. yeah. Jack. Russell and John. Russell. What happened, John? Russell called me names and I hit him. Hit him in the gut. Uh -oh. What did he call you? Brown eyes. Did you call him brown eyes? They always call us that. You yeah. want to get all of the um, yeah. boys called us that. call us brown eyes. Then they said, come here, brown eyes. Then they would call us boys. I yeah. wasn't. Sandy, Sandy and Don were. Yeah. What's wrong with being called brown eyes? It means that we're stupid and no, well, not that. Yeah. But oh, that's funny. just the same yeah. way as other people call uh, black people. Yeah. Is that the reason you hit him, John? Did it help? Did nope. it stop him? Nope. Did it make you feel better inside? Nope. Make you feel better inside? Nope. It doesn't. Did it make you feel better to call him brown eyes? To have that energy and hate in your heart does not make you a happy person. It makes you a miserable one. How could you, how could you possibly be happy with your life if you're constantly trying to tear down someone else's? You can't. Maybe you can fool yourself, but you can't fool someone who's really intelligent. You most certainly are not going to fool me. And I'm not that smart. There's a reason why I wish everyone well. No matter what the color of your skin. No matter what your education is like. No matter what your background is like. Part of it is because I'm truly happy. When I was miserable, oh, I could care less about anyone. Or their well-being. So pay attention to that. Think about that. The way people treat you, a lot of times has to do with the way they're feeling inside. Don't treat them the same way they do you. Kill them with kindness. Why do you suppose you call him brown eyes? Right, because he has brown eyes. Is that the only reason? He didn't call him brown eyes yesterday and he had brown eyes yesterday. Didn't he? Because we just saw Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said you put those blue things on there. Yeah. Tease them. Kind of oh, is this teasing? No. Well, he did it. Were you doing it for fun, to be funny, or were you doing it to be mean? To be mean. To be mean. <laughs> yep, he said it. I don't know. Don't ask me. Did anyone laugh at you when you did it? I watched what had been marvelous, cooperative, wonderful, thoughtful children turn into nasty, vicious, discriminating Wow! little third graders. Ain't, ain't that something? And it happened so quickly. It happened so quickly. It looked like it happened the same day. Oh, man. In a space of 15 minutes. Wow, 15 Yesterday, minutes. Yesterday I told you that brown-eyed people aren't as good as blue-eyed people. That wasn't true. I lied to you yesterday. The truth is that brown-eyed people are better than blue-eyed people. <laughs> Russell, where are your glasses? I forgot them. You forgot them, and what color are your eyes? Blue. <laughs> Susan Ginder has brown eyes. She didn't forget her glasses. Yeah. Russell Ring has blue eyes, and what about his glasses? He forgot them. He forgot them. Yeah. Wow, she is too good. <laughs> she is too good. You see how she uses things that are factual? You see how she uses small facts and amplify them to make them justify her reasoning? She just said, hey, you're a blue-eyed kid. You left your glasses at home. I just told you guys that I made a mistake or I lied and said blue eyes are better than brown. But really, the brown-eyed kids are better than the blue. Look at you. You're blue eyes. You forgot your glasses. She's brown eyes. She has hers. She's justifying. She's justifying her point.
goodness gracious, this is too good. This is too good. Yesterday we were visiting and Greg said, boy, I like to hit my little sister as hard as I can. That's fun. <laughs> what does that tell you about blue-eyed people? They're naughty. In fact, they fight a lot. See <laughs> this? Brown-eyed people may take off their collars. And each of you may put your collar on a blue-eyed person. The brown-eyed people get five extra minutes of recess. You blue-eyed people are not allowed to be on the playground equipment at any time. You blue-eyed people are not to play with the brown-eyed people. Brown-eyed people are better than blue-eyed people. They're smarter than blue-eyed people. And if you don't believe it, look at Brian. <laughs> She is too good. I swear I love this woman. I swear I love this woman. Oh my goodness, man. Why? <laughs> uh, put them in a situation where they can experience it for themselves. What is like to be discriminated against? They won't like it so much. And maybe, just maybe they won't do it anymore. There. Very sad. Very, very sad. Who can tell me what can <laughs> happen? He is cursing. He is so bad. Woo! Let's go to the board and write it, John. <laughs> Come on, let's do it again. Loosen up. Up, up, up. Come on. That's better. Now, do you know how to make a W? Okay, write the contraction for we are. Now that's beautiful writing. Is that better? Yeah. Brown-eyed people learn fast, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Boy, do brown-eyed people learn fast. Very good. Greg, what did you do with that cup? Will you please go and get that cup? and put your name on it and keep it at your desk. Blue-eyed people are wasteful. I hate today. I need you, I hate too. <laughs> because I'm blue-eyed. See, I am too. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, it's not funny, it's not fun, it's not pleasant. This is a filthy, nasty word called discrimination. We're treating people a certain way because they are different from the rest of us. Is that fair? No. no. Nothing fair about it. We didn't say this was going to be a fair day, did we? No. And it isn't. It's a horrid day. One thing that I want to say, uh, Jane, I'm not sure how old she is in this clip, in this video, but this is in 1968. My mother isn't even old enough to be in this class amongst these students, but... Even today, Jane looks like she is in good health, you know, and and I'm just comparing the two in regards to how this woman looked like she's been doing a good job taking care of her mental, which has allowed her body to stay in good health because they the two do work side by side. But the opposite is said about my mother, though. And um, yeah, my mother did actually have some um, racist tendencies as well. What did you blue people who are wearing blue collars now find out today? Oh, yes, no. I know what they felt like to yesterday. I did too. How did they feel yesterday? Down. Like a dog on a leash. Yeah. It feels like, like a chain you chain up wherever you go. In the prison. Like you're chained them up in the prison. Like wow. you're up and you're throwing the key away. See how quickly they learned this lesson? It only took two days. For this entire class to understand how wrong that is maybe just maybe if they can't go home and share that to their parents and their parents learn from the kids because yes parents we can learn from the ones much younger than us but if they don't learn it then at least these kids did so even if their parent is doing wrong or have wrong or negative thoughts towards people of other ethnicities at least they will grow up better. 
and start a new generation, a better generation. Should the color of some other person's eyes have anything to do with no. how you treat them? No. no. All right, then should the color of their skin? No. No. Should you judge people no. by the color no. of their skin? No. no. You're going to say that today and this week and probably all the time you're in this room. He'll say, no, Mrs. Elliot. No. Every time I ask that question. Good. No, and that's what it takes. It, it takes repetition in order for that stuff, information, any information to stick. It takes repetition. She's going to have to keep repeating that stuff to those kids. Do you judge someone by the color of their eyes? No. Do you judge someone by the color of their skin? No, Miss Elliot, we do not. It's gonna, it's gonna take her keep saying it in order for them to remember. So when they go out there into the real world, or if they don't walk into that school, into that building, then they know right from wrong. When you see a black man, or an Indian, or someone walking down the street, are you gonna say, <laughs> look at that silly looking thing? No. no. Does it make any difference whether their skin is black or white? No. Or yellow? No. Or red? No. Is that how you decide whether people are good or bad? No. Is that what makes people good or bad? No. Let's take these collars off. Mm, 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 mm. Now they can take the collars off and be free to be who they are, as this whole world should be. Woo! That was powerful. Oh, man. I am so glad I got to see this. I am so glad that not only did she do this experiment, but she documented it as well. Because I know throughout the years, she's done this with older high school, college students, just people in general. And I've seen some of that footage. And it's amazing to see how she changed the experiments as she deal with people of different age groups very very good stuff to see and then the emotions that come with the anger that these people express it was very very good i haven't seen that stuff in a long time but man if i come across some more of it we'll check it out we will check it out but anyway y'all know what time it is i want y'all to comment down below your thoughts on this and if you learned something from this video please share please share in the comment section down below but yeah with that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one